did it when I was in the class. It, it never occurred to me it was anything other than... I mean, it was actually quite annoying in my... You know, mm -hmm. when, when you're a student. But it is... It's a form of discipline. It's a form of respect. Why is it not, do you think, a good thing to instil in children those values? Well, they're all great values. There are other ways to instil them than by standing up when a teacher enters the room. So I mean, do it's, those as it's well? Quite, it's quite, yeah, I mean, it's quite disruptive. If, if you're a student, you're working, you've got to stand up. So, what if the, you, sometimes you've got about five TAs coming in and out, then it's just musical chairs, you're just up and down, you're not working. It's disruptive as a teacher. And also, like, yeah, I agree with respect and stuff, but I also don't want to be, like, this infallible um, person who is, is robotic and, and perfect. Like, yesterday, I was teaching a class, and, and then a phone went off in the lesson. I was like, oh, oh dear, someone's in trouble. It was mine, and it was actually you calling me to come on this show. <laughs> and I, and like, so I was like, oh, I'm human as Sorry. well. Sorry. Yeah, and I was like, oops. Do you but make those calls That's together? fine. Yeah, uh, just that's... Point out, it wasn't me personally calling <laughs> like, you to come on You're ringing me during very, school hours. I'm very um, grateful thinking. you did. I wonder, Catherine, I mean, it's an interesting point, though, because I can remember, like Susanna, we had to stand up when a teacher came in. But that's a great point that Christian makes, because actually, if another teacher came in, we didn't have teacher assistants back when I was at school, but uh, we would have to stand up and you would be in the middle of... Is that something that you have at school as well? Is it any teacher that comes in? Well, no. In fact, at our school, we get over... Two, we've had over 2,000 visitors, actually, since we opened in 2014. So it means there are lots of people coming in and out of the classroom. So we don't actually have them stand coming in and out of the classroom. But I totally support head teachers who, who decide to do that in an environment which is more calm. What you saw there in the video was the children standing for me at assembly. Right. It's traditional. It's ritual. It doesn't mean that we're on a pedestal as teachers. It's just, it's a sign of respect. Mm -hmm. And it's also a ritual which enables them to behave in an honourable way. And I think that when you are able to have respect in that way and admiration for your teachers, it doesn't mean you don't build relationships. It doesn't mean that the teachers don't love them. It certainly doesn't mean that you're robotic. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I Googled Christian yesterday and saw him rapping with his kids, I thought, gosh, I've got to employ this guy. <laughs> I thought, you know. So He's... we have fun with the kids. <laughs> we love them. But there are just these elements of tradition. We sing God Save the Queen with the children in the morning at assemblies. And it's just a lovely opportunity. Christian, do you do that? Show respect to so the you, Queen you see, every uh, morning? Yeah, no, we have a picture and we bow to that. Every <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, well, no, I mean, it, it's... I checked out Catherine's school on the website, and it looks great. Like, it looks amazing. I would love to come and uh, do a workshop at your school. But it's all about context, isn't it? It's, it's about the context of Catherine's school and what works there would not necessarily work in other do schools. Do you work in different types of schools well, or different I don't, parts? I don't think so. Well, it, it, I mean, in some ways kids. we do, in some ways we don't. You both I, in I state mainly... secondaries? Yeah, and they're both in a city. And well, I work own... in a referral yeah. unit mainly, which is obviously okay. different. Oh, right, right. right. I do okay, do okay, work okay, in, yes. in state secondaries. Now, that's yeah. okay, that's interesting. So you have some more challenging pupils. Yeah, so I will have the children that, like, with, there's a school, I can't really name it, but it, no. it runs itself on very similar lines to your school. I where mean, it's in East London, important. where they, they, they walk silently down the corridor. They have very, very same um, kind of ethos. So I work with the children who used to go to that school and were there for a very short time. And they're quite damaged by that experience. And we find that their behaviour in the referral unit um, is much worse than other referrals we're having from schools which were more libertarian in their approach and less so regimented. There, so, Catherine, would you say that there are students that this doesn't suit, these strict regulations, that heavy discipline? That... No, in fact, remember, it's all tied up in love. So it's really important, like I said, it doesn't mean you're not building relationships with the children. In fact, when you have that order and structure, it gives them the safety to be able to express themselves and be able to be creative. I mean, I don't know what school you're talking about, so I don't know, but certainly at our school, if you were to come, you would see very happy children, joyful, mm -hmm. who are enjoying life and who love the fact, what they do, what they say is, well, actually, it was a bit difficult when I first came mm -hmm. and, and I had to learn the kind of rules, but now I love it because they are free yeah. from bullying, they're free from, from the oppression that sometimes can come from the, the peer pressure to behave a, a, out of sorts. Yeah, and Chris, and I'm not sure which, which school you're referring to, but I'm sure they would defend it on, on the basis that pupil behaviour can be very unruly. And if you're dealing with a lot of unruly kids, mm. sometimes it can help to give them yeah. very strong structures, which they might lack in it other is, parts of their it lives. It is a method. It's one of and many And this methods. is one of them, you know, standing I up guess, the head. Yeah. I guess, I mean, this debate does come down to love, because me and Catherine, we both work in an environment where love is very important, where we clearly both mm. care for our 
children that we look after. Yeah. We do it in different ways. That doesn't mean that either way is invalid. It's just different yeah. contexts where they work. I think the problem with debates is they become very polarised and sure. people aren't willing to listen to the other side. I mean, this is quite polarised in a way because you're, like, Britain's strictest head teacher <laughs> and I'm, what, a, a freestyle rapper. So yeah. it's... <laughs> but, but, most yeah. of education happens in the middle like of both of these together. things. Well, well yeah, 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 yeah employ me, please. Point. I mean, yeah. I yeah. might be so strict, but at the same time, I want to employ you, so, yeah. you know... <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing how that goes.